Hi everybody, it's uh, Freeman here. I just wanted to uh, try uh, the Screencast-O-Matic that I like to use sometimes for documents. And the document that we're going to look at is in your first session, week one, and it's Butler versus McCoy complaint. It's a PDF file. And as we click on that bad boy, um, it will come up. And I was going to run through it very quickly. Um, the first two pages that you see actually are not the complaint itself. A complaint generally starts most litigation in any state that you are in. Um, we're in Pennsylvania, and of course, uh, most things have to be started by a complaint. The first two pages, though, as I'm scrolling back and forth annoyingly, is a civil cover sheet. And that's really just an administrative page that you have to include for the uh the clerk's, what I'll call the clerk's office for now. Um, but basically, they're the people that keep track of the case. When you file a case, you file it in the clerk of the court. In Philadelphia, it's called the uh, Office of Judicial Records, also called a, an odd name, and it's an old holdover, but it's called the pro -thonitary. A lot of people will mispronounce it as a protho notary. Please don't. Uh, but this is the uh, civil cover sheet. And if you look at it, it really just is uh, I guess what we would call metadata that is it's information about information it's telling who the parties are in the case itself but if you look closely nothing in these first two pages of this civil cover sheet tells you exactly what happened so that's what the complaint is designed to do and page three is the beginning of the complaint and I'll stop scrolling for a minute or two and this top part that you see that starts with Roland Butler comma, Darnell Jesse, plaintiffs on the left. Uh, those are the parties involved in the case. They're the plaintiffs. They're starting the case. And what makes the case a little bit interesting is that LaShawn McCoy is the individual who is the first defendant. He was a former Philadelphia Eagle, and if I remember correctly, is still playing football for the Buffalo Bills. I think I'm going to stop here and make sure this is all working.